the world of aviation has always been in the pursuit of achieving hypersonic speeds to make the idea of flying five times faster than the speed of sound a reality. Several companies with the most qualified engineering teams have tried to make their mark in this field, but one company known as the Hermaeus has been making waves in recent years. Their mission is to redefine human flight using groundbreaking ideas and cutting-edge technology. Hermaeus has left the world of aviation shocked by their unbeatable marvel Hermaeus Quarter Horse that is changing the concepts of aerial combat. Join us as we get into the remarkable story of Hermaeus and their remarkable aircraft, Hermaeus Quarter Horse, and reveal its competitors under development. In the mid-20th century, Brilliant minds like Robert Goddard and Konstantin Tsiolkovsky gave the concept of hypersonic flight. They laid the groundwork for this incredible achievement by understanding the principles of escaping Earth's gravity and flying at extreme speeds. Hypersonic flight required new types of engines because traditional ones wouldn't cut it. Rockets became the answer as they carried their own fuel and could work in space. The Bell X-2 was a groundbreaking aircraft that exceeded Mach 3 and set records for speed and altitude. It had a sleek design, a powerful rocket engine, and it collected vital data during its missions. The X-15 followed the legacy. It was powered by an incredibly strong rocket engine that could reach speeds over Mach 6.7 and altitudes of about 126,000 feet. The X-15's research influenced the famous SR-71 Blackbird, which was known for its incredible speed and reconnaissance missions. During the Vietnam War and the Cold War, it gathered crucial intelligence, and its design made it hard to be detected on radar. Now, countries like the United States, Russia, and China, along with private companies, are developing hypersonic technology. They're testing unmanned planes like the X-43A, which can achieve speeds of Mach 9.6. Hermes, a company based in Atlanta, Georgia, is doing some pretty exciting stuff in the world of aviation. They're all about hypersonic aircraft, and one of their star players is the Quarter Horse. It started in 2018, and in its first year, Hermes got its initial funding from Kosla Ventures. In March 2021, they joined forces with NASA to amp up their high-speed aircraft research. Later that year, they struck a significant deal of $60 million with the U.S. Air Force, which meant big bucks for their hypersonic jet project, the Quarter Horse. Fast forward to March 2022, they raised a whopping $100 million from Sam Altman in a Series B funding round. This cash is going towards finishing the Quarter Horse and getting their uncrewed aircraft, Dark Horse, up and running for sustained hypersonic flights. Their success with Dark Horse is feeding into the development of their commercial passenger aircraft, the Halcyon. Hermes wowed the world in 2019 when they successfully tested a prototype engine that proved that their design was on point. Then, in November 2022, their Chimera turbo ramjet engine showed off its stuff by transitioning from turbojet to ramjet mode during a simulated hypersonic flight. The Quarter Horse can hit speeds of up to Mach 5, which means you could fly from New York to London in just 90 minutes. That's the kind of stuff that could transform long distance journeys, not to mention its potential in aerospace research and maybe even military applications. The company has teamed up with aerospace experts, even NASA, to make the aircraft better in both design and capabilities. The quarter horse can travel faster, but it's not just about getting from A to B quickly. This aircraft is a hotbed of aerospace innovation, Scientists and researchers can't get enough of its blistering speed, making it a perfect testbed for new technologies and experiments that need high velocities. The military sees potential in it too. It could be the go-to choice for intelligence missions, surveillance, and other rapid response tasks. This hypersonic aircraft has cutting edge aerodynamic design that enables it to stay stable and easy to control even at hypersonic speeds. It is incredibly maneuverable and can adapt well to different flying situations. When it comes to engines, Quarter Horse uses a trio of high-performance engines, and each of them is designed for specific flight phases. The primary engine uses both jet and rocket techniques. It starts as a turbojet, inhaling and compressing air, and then ignites fuel for thrust. As it reaches the right altitude and speed, it smoothly becomes a rocket engine and uses liquid hydrogen and oxygen for extra dynamism. 
During mid-flight, the secondary engine comes into play, which is basically a ramjet. It uses the aircraft's speed to compress air and mix it with fuel for more thrust. Now, in the hypersonic phase, the third engine takes over, which is a scramjet. It's similar to the ramjet but operates at even higher speeds. It uses the shock waves from the hypersonic flight to compress air and mix it with fuel to create thrust. These engines work together like a well-oiled machine and enable the aircraft to hit hypersonic speeds with efficiency. The hybrid engine gets it off the ground and ascending, while the ramjet and scramjet engines keep it going at those super speeds. Hermes has introduced a prototype of this quarter-horse aircraft, which they plan to test for its unique turbine-based combined cycle engine. They unveiled it at an event, demonstrating the engine at full throttle for guests and investors. But it is still in development. They're planning to start flight tests in the coming years, and commercial flights should kick off in 2025. When it comes to the cost, it's not officially disclosed yet, but it's expected to be in line with other hypersonic aircrafts in development. Besides Quarter Horse, the United States is currently working on the development of the famous SR-72. The SR-72 is often considered the successor to the famous SR-71 Blackbeard and is set to be one of the fastest aircraft ever created, potentially reaching speeds up to six times the speed of sound, or Mach 6. Its main role is to conduct high-speed, high-altitude reconnaissance and surveillance missions, focusing on intelligence gathering. What makes the SR-72 truly exceptional is its incredible speed and altitude capabilities, enabling it to swiftly reach destinations worldwide. Advanced sensors and communication systems allow real-time data collection and transmission to ground stations. One of its standout features is its unique propulsion system, which combines turbine and scramjet engines. The turbine engine provides power at lower speeds, while the scramjet engine takes over at higher velocities, propelling the aircraft into hypersonic realms. To withstand the extreme temperatures associated with high-speed flight, the SR-72 incorporates advanced materials and coatings. Lockheed Martin has been dedicated to its development for several years, with successful tests of key components like the scramjet engine and high-temperature materials. The next step involves integrating these components into a full-scale aircraft and conducting flight tests to validate the design. The SR-72 is expected to have a range of up to 6,000 nautical miles and can carry a variety of sensors and payloads, including cameras, radar systems, and electronic warfare equipment. It can operate at altitudes of up to 80,000 feet, making it difficult to target with surface-to-air missiles. Beyond its technological marvel, the SR-72 serves as a crucial strategic asset for the United States. Its speed and agility allow rapid responses to emerging threats, providing military commanders with vital intelligence and situational awareness. Moreover, its ability to penetrate heavily fortified airspace makes it valuable in potential conflicts. Other countries have also been keeping a close eye on the development of advanced hypersonic technologies. Among these nations, China and Russia have made significant progress in this field. For instance, China has made notable achievements with the DFZF, an experimental hypersonic glide vehicle that has gained worldwide attention. The DFZF is launched into space using a ballistic missile and then glides back to Earth at hypersonic speeds, which makes it incredibly difficult to intercept with traditional anti-missile systems. It can reach speeds of approximately Mach 10, allowing it to cover vast distances rapidly. This development has significant implications for both military and strategic purposes. One remarkable feature of the DFZF is its maneuverability. During its descent phase, it can execute rapid and unpredictable maneuvers, making it a challenging target for adversaries. This maneuverability enhances its survivability and effectiveness in penetrating enemy defenses. The international community has raised concerns about China's advances in hypersonic technology as the DFZF's ability to carry both conventional and nuclear payloads at hypersonic speeds could significantly impact global security dynamics. Russia, on the other hand, has made substantial progress in hypersonic technology, exemplified by the Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle. The Avangard is designed to be launched on an intercontinental ballistic missile and is known for its exceptional speed and maneuverability. 
it's reported top speed is around Mach 27, allowing it to travel anywhere on the globe within minutes, making it extremely challenging to defend against. Similar to the DFCF, the Avangard is designed to perform evasive maneuvers during its descent phase, making it difficult for anti-missile systems to track and intercept. This capability greatly enhances its survivability and ensures it can reach its target effectively. The development and deployment of the Avangard have also sparked concerns among global powers. Its ability to carry nuclear warheads at hypersonic speeds adds a new dimension to the strategic balance and has led to discussions about the need for arms control agreements that account for these advanced hypersonic systems. While the Hermias is at work to complete the project, quarter horse as soon as possible. Other nations are also trying to beat the Marvel. Well, it would be exciting to see what happens next. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and watch the next video as well. See you again.